Hey, what's up you guys? It's Serge coming at you again with another tech video. I'm finally going to show you how to flash the newest NC4 firmware onto your Verizon Note 3. In this video, I'm just going to show you the flashing process. And then in the other following videos, I'm going to actually show you how to root it and how to do everything you need to do to it. So I'm not going to leave you hanging. I'm just going to separate this long video into multiple videos. So without further ado, let's get started on flashing NC4 onto your Verizon Note 3. Alright, now it is important that you back up everything on your phone. In this case, it's not really going to erase everything. It's just going to update you to the NC4 firmware. So everything should be okay. You shouldn't lose anything at all, but just play it safe, back up everything, and I will have videos on my channel. Go ahead and check those out on how to back up everything. It's really important because I don't want to be responsible for you losing everything just so you can update. So you shouldn't lose everything, but just be sure to back up everything just in case. You should always play it safe. You also want to make sure your phone is completely charged or at least partially charged. In my case, my phone's around 60% charged, so that should be enough as long as it's enough that it could stay alive for a good two hours. Um, you know, that's giving yourself a really good buffer, and you do not want it to die in the middle of this process because then you'll be left with a soft brick phone, and you're just going to have to figure out a way to fix it, which is pretty easy, really, but, you know, you do not want to go through that process. So once your phone is backed up, completely and I do have videos on my channel for that so please be sure to go check those out I give you an in-depth look on how to back up everything the way that I do it and then of course on your computer you should have the drivers already installed on your computer and you should have Odin also on your computer installed I'm just making assumptions that you have been following my videos up to this point if you haven't I'll leave all the links of everything you're gonna need down in the description down below so please be sure to get all those files from there and install them onto your computer alright so let's go ahead and go to the computer and get this whole process started alright so in the entire tutorial these are all the files that we're gonna be using safestrap and tower root I'm gonna be showing you in these next couple videos but for now what we want to focus on is this uh, tar file right here this is what we're actually gonna be flashing to our Verizon Note 3 now this video is intended for the Verizon Note 3 and all the files that I'm going to be providing you are going to be for the Verizon Note 3. Everything will be in the description down below. Go ahead and get those files. If you do have a different kind of phone, like if you have one for T-Mobile or Sprint or whatever it may be, the file is going to be different for you. The method might be the same, but the file is different, so you're going to have to look for that file. The only file I can actually provide you and know for a fact that it works is the one for the Verizon Note 3. So the link is actually going to send you to download this zip file right here and you're going to want to unzip it and it will give you this tar file. So the way you can tell if it's a zip file or not is by the end. It's going to say .7z uh, and then you'll see the little icon for your 7zip or for WinRAR in my case and you want to make sure that it is unzipped and you have the unzipped file that's important you can't flash the zip file you have to flash the tar file and then also you want to be sure you run it through an MD5 checker and if you don't know how to do that go check out that video on my channel as well on it's a simple two second video on how to check your MD5 file and what it all means so okay once you have that you want to make sure you have your USB drivers installed on your computer and Odin. So this is Odin. This is Odin version 309. First thing you want to do is go to this AP button and go search for that tar file wherever you have it. Okay, so I navigated over to that tar file. I'm just going to go ahead and select it and then hit open. And it's going to say please wait in this little box. Sometimes depending on your computer, it's going to do the whole not responding thing right here and the and the window might even freeze on you. It's okay. It's just a really big file it's trying to take in. Just give it a second and it will come back up. Alright, so for me it took about a minute. As you can see, the binary size right here is about 2 gigs, so it is a really big file. Uh, so just give it a while, and then you want to make sure that the F reset time is unchecked. I have had issues with it before, and the when F 
the F reset time box was checked, it did not work. It failed on me. So want to make sure it's really important you uncheck that or it might fail on you. If it fails on the first time, if you forgot or whatever and you're just watching this video again to see what you messed up on, uncheck F reset time and do it again. Now once you have Odin all ready to go for your phone, you want to make sure your phone is off so go ahead and turn it off and then we're going to go into download mode. And to go into download mode, you want to hold the home button down, hit the volume down button, so hold those two, and then hit the power button, and then just keep on holding them until the download screen pops up, like that. So there you have, you have download mode. All right, and now your download mode should look like this. You want to hit the volume up key to continue, and then there you go, you are in download mode. All right, once in download mode, you want to go ahead and hook up your USB cable Make sure that you are on USB 2.0 and not USB 3.0. Uh, Odin is more compatible with USB 2.0 than 3.0. That's the reason behind it. So go ahead and make sure that's correct. And then plug in your phone. Okay. So once you plug in your phone, you'll notice that Odin shows a COM port active. As long as you have this filled in, you're good. So next, all you want to do is hit start. And this will take about 12 minutes depending on your computer. Your computer might be slow or fast. It all varies, but it's going to take about 12 minutes for it to completely be done. And this is going to be flashing your boot image, your radios, everything that comes in the official over the air release of NC4 is in this package. So you'll be on the latest firmware. Now while we're waiting for this, I want to explain some things. I've been running with this NC4 firmware for about a month now and I have noticed a couple things that I do not like. When I was on the NC2 leak firmware, as I explained in my previous video, if you haven't seen that, go, go ahead and check that out. I pretty much cover everything in that video. Another thing that I've noticed on the NC4 firmware since I've been using it is battery has diminished completely. I don't know if it's the firmware itself or if it's just the, the file that I have for NC4 that's causing this issue or it could even be the ROMs I have actually, which I will be showing you in a couple of videos that uh, that I'm coming out with soon. Um, I did this modification to my phone that it's running everything in C4 like I'm doing right now, except for I've changed the boot image or the bootloader on the phone for it to be NC2, and I did that so I can run ROMs that only support the NC2 bootloader. So. There are a lot of variables that I'm still testing out. What I'm going to test out right now is actually I'm going to be running on stock. As much as I hate stock, I'm going to be running on stock for a while just to make sure that this NC4 firmware I'm flashing onto my phone is not the culprit. Once I've been running with this for a while and verifying that the battery issue isn't being caused by the firmware, then I'm going to just try other various things. But just be warned that I've had battery issues with this NC4 supported ROMs like Jasmine ROM. I still had some battery issues with that and I've tried Objective ROM and even Eclipse has come out with the KitKat edition of his ROM. And I will be making reviews on, on all of these ROMs as well. I just wanna go ahead and warn you ahead of time that I have had battery issues with this. And how bad the battery issues are? Let's just say I really don't use my phone much. I only use it for important calls or for business or whatever it may be. Most of my work is done on computers or even on my tablet. And even then, just it's sitting idle, I only get I only get about eight hours total of phone battery with this. And it's terrible because before I used to have a whole day of battery with the NC2 firmware. So I'm just I'm not sure anymore what the problem is and what it really is that's the issue. Alright, so that's enough blabbing for now. I'm going to let this run through and then I'll, I'll be right back whenever it's done. Alright, if everything went correctly, your Odin should show pass in bright green right there. And in my case, it actually only took 5 minutes, so your time may vary. And then your phone will actually automatically reboot because the auto reboot option has been selected. So this is my phone rebooting right now. And then before this screen, you actually get a little robot. I missed to show you that. And has a little opened up robot and then a little progress bar goes through. So we get the normal boot. And then once you have the pass on Odin, it's okay to go ahead and just close it. 
and you can actually disconnect it from your computer as well. And as you see now, I'm just getting Android is updating, and it's just updating all of the applications it needs to. And again, this is the first boot after the NC4 flash, so just give it a while. Alright, so my phone has completely finished rebooting and then the start wizard will pop up and then you just go through that real quick and you get your home screen. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my settings and about phone to show you what my phone is on right now. Alright, and as you see I have the Verizon Note 3 on Android 4.4.2 and my baseband is NC4 and my build number is NC4. So now I have successfully updated to the latest firmware that Verizon has put over the air. So that's it for this video, you guys. Uh, please be sure to check out my following video. I'm going to install SafeStrap onto the phone, and I'm also going to root it with Tau root because right now I do not have root. All right, guys, if you found the video informative, please be sure to give me a like down below. It helps me out a lot to know if you've enjoyed and if this video was informative for you. So please be sure to hit that like button below. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm really good at getting at them. I have no life. So <laughs> please be sure to leave a comment down below and I will get to you. And also, if you have anyone else you know or if you have a website or friends, please be sure to share this video with everyone and subscribe to my channel so you get more videos as soon as they come out for the Verizon Note 3 and just random tech videos. I'm, I'm just dropping all the knowledge that I know unto you guys and YouTube. So please be sure to subscribe to get all the new videos as soon as they come out. All right, so stay tuned for that towel root video and also stay tuned for the new safe strap video. All right guys, that's it for now. My name is Serge, y'all have a good one.